things you should avoid or scams you should avoid when you come to Gonda. You say you don't want photo, now you ah, want one. Yeah, true. He had a problem with me recording in I the car. But <laughs> I got conned. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, when you get conned is when you feel, oh yeah, you remind me I'm a foreigner in your country. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Damaris Jenga and I create travel and lifestyle videos now. I feel like it's been forever since I started a video in the house, seated, not walking, not doing so many things and here we are. So today I'm coming to you from Gonda town which uh, is uh, the, the old capital city of Ethiopia and I'm excited. I have been showing you videos of here in Gonda as we celebrate the Epiphany celebrations but that has come to an end in the last like yesterday was the official last day of the celebrations so today i'm excited to go to town and see how the city looks like without so many people without it being crowded without a lot of celebration and all that i'm excited to see what also made gonda to be the first capital city of ethiopia and even why the capital city uh like moved from gonda to addis ababa so i'm excited and I'm about to hop on a tuk-tuk and proceed to Gonda and we can have a good experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like button. And if you've not subscribed, please, it does support my channel in my growth and all that. So please consider subscribing. It's free anyway. Anyway, let's go. Let's step out and have a good time. So I have been living here for the last three or four days. But, and one good thing, I was like three no, 700 meters away from where the Epiphany celebration was happening, from where the pool and all that. If you watch that video, you know what I'm talking about. But I just keep wondering, what is this? Let me know in the comment section. Because it, like it looks like a field or more of a place where people come to play or something like that. So let's head over to gonda a place called piazza that's the name of the town and it's interesting that piazza is also the same name there's a town in addis also called piazza so i found that to be pretty interesting and i'm excited tuk tuk piazza so let's get some question out of the way the main form of transportation here across the cities is tuk tuk which is pretty affordable but for like now i'm going to pay something like 30 beer from where I stay, which is like two kilometers, actually two kilometers away from Piazza. Another question is, what about the weather? The weather, it has been sunny. Today actually is a bit cloudy, but it has been sunny for the period that I've been here. And uh, it does not get cold. I have not felt cold. Even now when it's like cloudy, I still don't feel cold. And uh, I think we have a tuk-tuk. Apparently, the tuk-tuk I had found was not in service, so therefore I decided to try out the public taxi, which are the blue vehicle you see passing by, and I ended up paying 5B, which I thought was quite affordable. So I ended up taking uh, Matatu. So I have made it to town with that Matatu behind me. Huh? You say you don't want photo, now you ah, want one. Yeah, true. He had a problem with me recording in I the car, no but problem. now he is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know speak English, you right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You are Amharic? Tini is Amharic. He's half tall. Uh, Her name is half tall, must go. Uh, I'm going to Gonda. I live in Gonda. You live in Gonda? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so see you Okay, that's great. I interview you. So yeah. where are we here? Yeah, yeah. Where are we here? Yeah, Piazza. Piazza? Yeah. Okay. What What's interesting about Piazza? Piazza or Gondra? Gondra. Uh -huh. Who is he? John Fasid. 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 Okay. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much. No matter. Okay. You have a coffee, you milk, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So, this life is very crazy. That guy, exactly what I wanted to tell you before he appeared in my video. He had a big problem when I picked up my camera and, okay, my phone and started recording. Like people in the car started covering their faces and then all of a sudden from nowhere, he's interested in being in my video. So, what we are actually basically talking about is the creature behind us. Oh my god, did I say creature? Ethiopians are going to kill me, but let me get there and then we will get to know more about it. Yesterday this place was filled with so many people and I'm glad to be in town today. We can walk comfortably, you know. Apparently this statue is a very famous statue and very treasured by many Gonda people and therefore when you're here it's important for you to take photos. So I was busy touring the city and showing you videos of the city until this guy came back and asked if we could take a photo with him. Of course I didn't have a problem, I already have a video with him which I have so taking a photo with him is a small thing you know. I'm standing outside a photo studio. He wants us to take a photo, which yeah. I think is interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But this marked the beginning of an interesting drama. So, as you can see, the discussion here, so many things happened within the photo. Ha! So, be careful when you decide to take photos with the statue because this cameramen here are like big cons so they're waiting for you to take so many photos which i had an idea but i didn't have change so that's how they were able to play around with me so just be careful if you decide to take photos here because there could be a lot of pickpocketers so be on your watch and let's continue with our tour of of piazza so lots of drama kept happening and i have postponed my trip to gonda for you guys tomorrow also it's about to rain so I'm currently seated in a hotel because it has started raining and I'm not about to get rained on to Katuktuk head over a hotel that is close home, uh, close to where I am staying and also <laughs> I got gone, which I think is pretty interesting. Yeah, so like this photographer pretended he can't hear what I'm saying and I was just saying I need one photo. He went ahead and printed, printed eight photos. So eight photos, that means 20 beer for each. That's 160 beer. I'm just like, sort yourself with all the photos. The problem is I had already paid him 100 beer. So little money, but it's good for us to be careful and to learn about these things. Yeah, so I'm here to treat that and to treat my disappointment for the day by ordering some chips so I can feel like I, I have eaten food that is close to home and a break from injera because I've been eating injera the entire time and we can have fun as well so deep in the shadows I know it's hard so my food is here and as you know there is no katra in Ethiopia so I have to use my hand okay I think this hotel has some but let's just eat with my hands these chips will help me remember home and feel like it's okay also being conned <laughs> when you're in a foreign country. And this is where my place of thought was. If I could speak Amharic, I would not have been conned. Because that guy would, I would have understood what this guy was saying from the first place and make him delete all photos. And just give me the one photo that I wanted for this guy because he was so good. And I was willing to to pay him for, for to pay a photo for him. like. He was a good friendly guy, the guy I met, the one who you watched the video. But of course we had the problem of language barrier. I loved it. Uh, I, I, I knew he was going to be helpful. Like my instinct would tell me he's a good guy until we met this photographer who was not honest and he was not truthful. So his business is to make sure he takes as many photos. That is, um, I'd say a stupid or a way, I don't know how to define it, but we are here, we are, when you get conned is when you feel, oh yeah, you remind me, I'm a foreigner in your country. <laughs> but anyway, I've also been told it happens to other Ethiopians, so they just try and be clever to you. And uh, I made a big nod sharing on how that similar concept happened so that you guys don't tell me in the con comment section, oh, you keep getting conned, you keep getting scammed, or you should expect this. But then I thought about it and I was like, I should share. It might happen to someone else and you find yourself in a situation. The concept is not about money, actually. The concept is about 
sorry about that. The concept is about how angry you can become after getting in that situation and how it can spoil your day and how you can get yourself into like if I was if I had anger issues I would get so mad and so angry and uh, and maybe cause the attention of the police and of course when you're in a foreign country you don't want such drama happening so um my food is getting cold because I started talking but I also wanted to tell you about this drink that I'm about to try before oh talking about being scammed so i just ordered for fries i didn't ask for anything to drink so she brought me fries and then all of a sudden i see how with this initially i thought it's alcohol so i was like no 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 do you have maybe coca is better but he, she gave me this i didn't order this so we are going to see how how that goes because anyway i'm willing to pay no problem so let's do a test test it's called negus and it says it's malt without beer. Let me read for you. Uh, boost your moments with the taste of natural local flavor. Coffee flavored alcohol free malt. Let's try. Cheers to great experiences here at Gonda. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It has lots of coffee. Thank you, lady, for giving it to me. So let's try the fries. These fries are supposed to calm me down. Not the best fries I have eaten in my life, but it can do for now. So as you know, being conned as you travel is a normal thing. I'm glad I put myself in that situation and I was conscious and all was well. Actually, as we were talking, one of the guy who is like my guide here at uh, Gonda came and joined us because that's the person I was going to meet and he was going to help me to uh, uh, Gonda. I was not going to tour Gonda alone. But now you see, it has now started raining as we were wasting time there, having long, long conversation. As this other pr uh, photography guy came with photographs, oh my God, you have no idea how angry I was. And then this guy came with more, more photos, and I almost teared and torn, and I started spiraling on how that could lead me to so much trouble, or if I bring drama in a foreign country, crazy. So anyway, I love this. You should try this. I highly, highly, highly recommend when you come to here. I love it. The fact that it's alcohol free, I love it more. So good, trust me. Deep in the shadow, I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. Ah, so far is the ego, where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars. So you guys, I will see you tomorrow as I take you through Gonda and we leave Gonda. <laughs> yes, so I hope you enjoy tomorrow's video. Today, let's just call this the video of things you should avoid or scams you should avoid when you come to Gonda. But always make sure you take a photo with take a photo with that statue. It's important, it's a good, it's memorable. Yesterday so many people are taking photos with the statue, so you should also take photos in case you make it to Uganda. And that is it for this video. I will see you in my next video. Bye, remember to hit the like button, subscribe down below, and have a good one.